So we are at the FTZ. FTZ, the port. This is the port to you guys? Yeah, this is the FTZ. We're gonna go pick up a car that's kind of special to me in a way. I've had seven of them. Yes, sir. I've had a lot of these cars, and based off that, they should know exactly what it is. <laughs> are we gonna see other JDMs? Um, oh, yours is like to the side. It's to the side. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I'm probably the only one that has something in there. Uh. Um, it's officially 25 years. Yeah, his yesterday. birthday was April 1st. Actually, April 1st? Yeah. Oh, oh we got company. You brought in oh, the middle of company. <laughs> Damn, you guys took, picked up a couple others. Yep. That one's automatic, wow. Yeah, 98. Automatic? Yeah. That's interesting. This one's automatic too. I'd be very shocked. Back to back automatic. 1998. I know, but it's cool to see automatic trucks. AC too. Ready for this? Ready for the grand reveal. Oh man. Slowly. This is the real reason I'm in Hawaii to buy this. From here, you have no idea what it is. I didn't even know what it is when I first saw this. You actually would never guess, probably. Comment below right now what car you think this is. Based off this front end, I'll show you guys the side. This kind of gives it away the side. I'll show you guys the interior if it's open. It is. Got some cool seats. I actually like this a lot. Here's the cluster. If you're a real OG of the channel or you're a super car person, you're very familiar with this. This is a staple. Those gauges are a staple. Everything else is completely different. It's a two-door convertible. Let me know. Do you guys know what it is yet? This is a Mazda Miata, aka a Yunos Roadster, an NA8. So it comes at a 1.8. This thing is sick. You guys know I love Miatas, although I am indifferent about them currently because you guys know I was in a hit and run accident, and the guy just left the scene and completely told my Miata. But this thing is sick. It's actually better in person. When I first saw pictures of it, I was like, what is this front end? This thing is hideous. But now actually seeing it, seeing the whole kit, seeing the side skirts, seeing the back is also done. I thought it was very ugly in pictures, but it's not that bad. It has a glass top. Ooh, glass top. The battery's in the back though. Oh yeah, the battery is in the back. Is in the back. Yep. Yeah, it is. It's right here. Let me see the hood though. Let me see the hood. See what it looks like under here. No, no, let me see, let me see. Clean. Oh, wow, it's pretty stockish and nice. Looks like it has a brand new radiator. Vod cover's not bad. First start in American soil. How you I'll feel? Pretty damn good. It's good, right? Like, pretty, having pretty. a car, how long has it been sitting here? Two, three months. Three months. Here's a look at the Yunos in the sun. I'm indifferent. I'm indifferent about the kit. <laughs> I like it a lot, but it's also very different. Yeah. Just made it back to JDM Hawaii, and now that I see the Yunos in person, I'm actually realizing how crazy this kit really is. So this whole time I just thought it was the front bumper, but if you look closely, it's really the front bumper and the hood, and then of course the fenders with this little intake here, and then the side skirts, and then the quarter panels are riveted in, and then you think, okay, cool, the back is normal. No, even the rear bumper has the dual exhaust. It's like a full kit. So I'm appreciating it a little more now. You can see it has a nice little wide body. You compare that to the door. It's a nice kit. It's put together very well. But me as a Miata fanboy, any NA Miata without pop-up headlights is a sin, so I don't love it. But it is really cool. I can definitely appreciate it. I can appreciate the interior. Look how nice like the door card is. This is painted gray. You got some speakers there, speakers there. This looks like it was hydro dipped. So that's a nice touch. The matching seat goes very well. The interior is actually very clean. No cracks here, no cracks here. These little tombstones are always known from breaking, but even all this is hydro dipped. Nice little shift knob, has a Momo wheel. It only has 
89,000 kilometers, so not too high. So I can appreciate this. This is a cool little car. If somebody turbos this, or somebody even just leaves it like this, this is gonna be one of the coolest Miatas in Hawaii. I do think I'm realizing a trend though. I think Slater's just a fan of cars that have many headlights in the front. You got the Miata here, the Midget here. There's no secret that he's a big fan of the Subaru Classics. We have one there, another one here. That orange Volkswagen sold already, but that was another one. And then the green VW K truck, that sold already. That was another classic front end. We got another one here, this deck van as well. I just told everyone secretly, but now that you're here, I think you just like headlights. But do you I, like fog lights too, or just the headlights? I, I think it's a like headlight thing. Headlights. Yeah, I think it's a headlight thing. Headlights, fog lights any lights I, I like fog lights a lot but this no, all I mean, this because we got six and then over here i mean we got six, six. i think we need to add two more to maybe you're down here yeah. six and then the classics no, like, probably no, have no, six we need to add four more to this so four four we need to add one in here one here one here or you just put a long one a right light here. bar a light bar yeah you gotta have a light bar and then the classics have how many like eight the light bar. no the classics got a bar eight well yeah. yeah three three and then two they have eight <laughs> yeah eight on this yeah i guess i do like lights you like headlights <laughs> i like headlights i just i i i mean look i at, like this i like this look at I this thing. I this just is, said in my video, this is going to be one of the only, this clearly. Not, it's the only one. In yeah, anyone, point, actually, if anybody's watching this video and they know what kit this is from, comment below. Because we want to know who makes this. Who made this kit. Very it's curious. Full body kit. It's yeah. A full body wrap kit. And then it's, it's, and look, I, you can point yeah, it's out. Riveted it's riveted in. It's riveted in. The it's, back bumper's different. Even the tail lights. This person did top to bottom. Yes. Coilovers. Yes. The fitment is good. It has a little bit of camber. But you can see that. Oh I can't see it. Oh, yeah, right there. You see the can yellow? You see those springs in there? Yeah, the can coilovers? The yeah, yeah, the coilovers, yeah. yeah. Then they got some coilovers over here. You can see they're adjustable. This is going to be a cool car when it's done.